Hello all, this is D Swank, and I am doing the This Week in Updates video. Uh, this is going to be a little difficult for me because uh, the audio I had originally uh, recorded didn't work because, well, for some reason my main mic crapped out and uh, I tried to use another one. So first off, uh, Robocraft, uh, the primary update that I had was uh, that the pirate event ended, but then I discovered this, that sprinter legs are coming tomorrow. Uh, so we're getting two new movement legs for Robocraft that appear to be quick movement running uh, uh, legs. So we've got some stats on them right here. They look pretty good. And yeah, so uh, that's that'll be interesting, and that was a pleasant surprise. Um, I have a few games on here that I'm not really going to talk about, uh, like CSGO. Space Engineers was kind of just update fix and things like that. Uh, Fallout 4, uh, it's a pretty big update, but from what I got on the news, it was basically... Uh, uh, well, it, it was clean up, and the Nuka World update came out today. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that, that was the, the Fallout 4 update. Warshift, I had an update, but there was no documentation on it, unfortunately. Uh, Empyrean Galactic Survivor had some upda interesting updates, but, I th yeah, I went to Don't Starve. Uh, at, they added in some new, uh, uh, a new boss and new section, the Toadstools and the Dragonfly and, uh, uh, dr toadstool, toadstool boss in the caves and the Dragonfly and their loot tables and things like that and fix some bugs as, and a lot of this is just bug fixing throughout here. So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to talk about Hyperdimension and Neptuna. That's just another game I have that I love the meta humor on. Uh, Last Leviathan. They have a lot of updates in it uh, that are uh, uh, in here. Just the way blocks interact, uh, AI's pathing, uh, uh, making the weapon their weapons more accurate, and things like that. Uh, so th this is, uh, the game is one of those that is uh, Last Leviathan. It's it's got a lot long distance to go before it uh, uh, comes out fully. So you've got a lot of new uh, uh, new fixes in there. Uh, so uh, right now I'm. I would have been talking about some of their uh, uh, more fixes and things like that, uh, pathfinding, stuff like that, but I've already covered it. Uh, Enter the Gungeon, not that important. Robocraft, we're done with. Uh, so, I guess, yeah, I went to Empyrean next. And this one has a lot of bug fixes. Uh, just things in general that make the games function better. Uh, uh, things like the tags for bases not are uh, uh, not disappearing uh, when their core was destroyed. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, and some uh, just general updates and things like offline protection shields and penetrable from both sides. Player drone can be spawned when the flashlight is equipped now. Uh, pressing horizontal alignment button zero in space I, or maybe letter O in space allows you alignment with default space plane. Alien humanoid insect, the Akua is now in the Predator faction. And they also got a shout out from PC Gamer uh, as a No Man's Sky alternative. So, yay. Go, uh, go game. Now, Boss Constructor was pretty much just patch fix, uh, or patches and updates, and I didn't realize this, but that, well, actually, that is last week. So, yes, uh, what I was saying doesn't matter anymore. 
Uh, so it was just pat up uh, little bug fixes, things like this. Savage Lands had some uh, uh, things. Of course, the uh, the warning for splitting between old saves between legacy and main branch and stuff like that. Uh, they updated the AI. Uh, the islands uh, have uh, had changes done to their spawning and pathing and AI and things like that across the island. There's been some crash fixes, uh, some ways to get unstuck, uh, and uh, the environments. They've they're reworking the shorelines and stuff like that. Uh, and they're, they've added new art uh, to uh, three cities, uh, more bug fixing. Uh, there's still some known issues, uh, creature, such as the creatures hopping over things and backpacking. Uh, they've got some their goals for performance increase and stuff like that coming up. Uh, from the depths, I don't believe there was anything significant. Uh, yeah. Because this is still their old update from uh, uh, a month ago. Uh, we have a new uh, uh, Dino dossier uh, this week from uh, Ark that is the giant bee, which just creeps me out. And then TerraTac had an update uh, that showed... They added a new faction and new designs and equipment from that faction. So the Hawkeye Corporation, uh, they have missions, they have new weapons. A lot of the additional stuff is uh, their new uh, uh, guns and blocks. You have helicopter blades, motorcycle wheels, powerful guns, homing missiles, mini guns, not so many guns, tank treads, more guns, and loads more, but mostly guns. Uh, but yeah, uh, most of what they've added, new features, are things that relate to the new blocks and how they interact with other systems. And then you have just bug fixes and known issues and things like that. So uh, the, these videos are pretty much just a quick overview of what's going on. If you want more detail, you need to take a look at it for yourself. But I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, go ahead, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment below, tell me what you thought, tell me if you'd like to see me continue these, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye bye